relatively warmer and more humid Friday across the valley today. It was one of the warmest days we've had so far in the month of September. We've also had a couple of isolated stray showers that have popped up over the last couple of hours. These have been slowly moving east. One rolled through the slippery rock area here a little while ago. Right now things are pretty quiet on the radar, but as we go through the evening, I can't rule out another one of these passing showers here and there. Dew points today kind of crested in the middle and upper 60s. Very midsummer like feel to the air after a nice break from the humidity during the middle of the week. All right, we have not one, but two decent space station flybys tonight. The first one is the better of the two. That will occur at 8.13 p.m. It'll be visible for seven minutes, appearing in the southwest sky, moving to the east-northeast sky and reaching about 51 degrees in uh, elevation above the horizon. The second one is a little bit lower in the sky, a little bit dimmer, but at 951, that's our second space station flyby of the evening. If you follow me on social media, Facebook and Twitter, you can check out a reminder of those space station passes coming up here in a couple of hours. All right, as we head through the next couple of hours, yeah, there can be a passing shower. We'll be fair game to see a, a shower here and there until about one or two in the morning. These should be long gone by tomorrow morning. In the meantime, a warm night tonight, 63 overnight. In our Saturday, overall a pretty nice day, but we do have a cold front on the weather map tomorrow morning approaching from the north and west. I think we'll be dry through about lunchtime, and as we get into the afternoon, most of us will stay dry, but a couple of spots might pick up a quick shower as we go through the mid-afternoon hours. And then in the wake of this front, by this time tomorrow evening, it's going to be beautiful outside with sunshine and noticeably drier air pushing through. It'll still be warm tomorrow. We'll get up to 80 tomorrow afternoon. Now Sunday, in the wake of this front, high pressure pays us a brief visit. There could be some fog around Sunday morning, but by Sunday afternoon, bright and sunny, just gorgeous outside Sunday afternoon. Enjoy the weekend weather because things go downhill a little bit as we head into next week with an increase in clouds and increase in humidity on Monday and some rain chances back in the forecast as well. Well, 21 WFMJ, the proud sponsor once again this year of the Green Cathedral Race, the 5K Half Marathon and Kids Fun Run, Mill Creek Park Sunday morning. Watch for a little fog early, otherwise Great temperatures for running Sunday morning. And if you don't like it that warm, check out the six to 10 day outlook. We don't show this very often. There's some blue on this map. It's going to turn quite a bit cooler second half of next week. So say goodbye to the 80s by Wednesday. Still pretty steamy through Tuesday. A cold front arrives Wednesday in the wake of that front. Look at those overnight lows at the end of next week. 44 next Thursday night and high temperatures Thursday and Friday only in the mid 60s. Derek.